my name's Mark and welcome to our accessible uh, teaching sessions for Spring Harvest Home. How are you doing? I hope you're doing okay. Are you ready to glow? I'm ready to glow. Can you see my glow stick glowing? I'm ready to glow because God's Holy Spirit gives us a superpower, the power to glow, to spread the good news of Jesus' love to everyone. And that's been true all through history. It's true now and it will be true tomorrow as well. Are you ready to glow? I am. So let's have a look at how that glow arrived by having a read in uh, God's Word, the Bible. I'm going to be sharing from the Accessible Edition Bible. And if you want to follow along in your Bible, you can find the reading we're going to look at in Acts chapter 2. And we're going to be reading from verses 1 to 21. The Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost came, all the believers gathered in one place. Suddenly, a sound came from heaven. It was like a strong wind bellowing. It filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. The flames separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began to speak in languages that they had not known before. The Spirit gave them the ability to do this. Godly Jews from every country in the world were staying in Jerusalem. A crowd came together when they heard the sound. They were bewildered because each of them heard their own language being spoken. The crowd was really amazed. They asked, aren't all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then why do we each hear them speaking in our own native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites. We live in Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia. We are from Pontus, Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia. Others are from Egypt, and the parts of Libya near Cyrene. Still others are visitors from Rome. Some of the visitors are Jews, others have accepted the Jewish faith. Also Cretans and Arabs are here. We all hear these people speaking about God's wonders in our own languages. They were amazed and bewildered. They asked one another, what does this mean? But some people in the crowd made fun of the believers. They've had too much wine, they said. Then Peter stood up with the eleven apostles. In a loud voice he spoke to the crowd. My fellow Jews, he said, let me explain this to you. All of you live in Jerusalem. Listen carefully to what I say. You think these people are drunk, but they aren't. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. No, here is what the prophet Joel meant. He said, in the last days, God says, I will pour out my Holy Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will have dreams. In those days, I will pour out my spirit on both men and women. When I do, they will prophesy. I will show wonders in the heavens above. I will show signs on the earth below. There will be blood and fire and clouds of smoke. The sun will become dark. The moon will turn red like blood. This will happen before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Wow, there's a lot in there, isn't there? And there's a lot in there about God's Holy Spirit. And we've just read that God's Holy Spirit came to all of those believers. But why? Well, it was to help them to glow, 
to share the gospel, the good news of Jesus and his love for all people. We're going to be finding out a lot about God's Holy Spirit and how he helps us to glow in these sessions. If you're a Christian, you have God's Holy Spirit, God's glow in you already. Isn't that amazing? You've got that glow that you can share with others. If you're not a Christian yet, you can still get that glow. Because if you come to God and you um, say to him about all the, the wrong things that you've done, all the mistakes that you've made, all the bad things that you are sorry about, and if you say sorry to God, and if you ask him to forgive you, and ask him to put his Holy Spirit into you and into your life, then he'll put his Holy Spirit, his glow, into you as well. Why not do that today? But why did the believers speak lots of different languages when the Holy Spirit came? Well, it was because there were people from all over the world there. Do you remember that long list of really difficult names of different places that I had to say when I was reading that passage in the Bible? Do you use a different language? Maybe you speak Welsh or Urdu or Polish or another language. Maybe you use British Sign Language or Makaton to communicate. Or maybe you use a computer to help you to communicate with people in a different way. Can we, with all the different ways that we communicate and with all the different languages that we might use, can we share the gospel? the good news of Jesus? Can we be filled with that glow and to share that with people like the believers in the story? Oh well, yes, we can. God's Holy Spirit can and will use us and whatever language, whatever communication that we have to share with others, to tell them about Jesus, to glow for him. Are you ready to glow? I'm ready to glow. Let's pray together, shall we? And let's ask God to give us that glow for him today. Lord, we pray that you would give us your glow, that you would help us to be able to take that glow and share it with others. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Let us shine for you today, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Now in the next session, we're going to be exploring how we can glow together. That'll be great, won't it? I look forward to seeing you there. But for now, bye bye.